What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, Carter, and I'm back with another video. I just finished school, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, full-time contacting up this joint. You know, that means more time to make these videos, more time to get this subscribe count up. So that's what I'm gonna do. Make sure you all like and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers sometime in May, so your subscription is much appreciated. With all that being said, let's get right into the video. So a while ago, I made a 3D ocean in Godot, and it didn't turn out very well. So I thought, hey, I need a video idea. Why not remake that? So that's what I did. I set up my mesh instance, and then I got to working. Now, I knew the biggest things here would be the material and then the script. I had a water texture, and then I made it blue. And after that, I converted it to a shader material. Then I copy and pasted the code that I had made in a previous video. And then I had to correct the syntax for the normal map. Apparently, there was an underscore between normal and map now. So it'd be normal underscore map underscore whatever whatever comes after that. And I'm not sure, actually I am, subscribe. Then after that, I was just getting the water to look the way I wanted it to. I wanted it to be kind of glossy and reflective because that's like how water works and stuff. To get the texture to really show, I had to increase the UV scale. Then I added my directional light node and increased the energy on it. Then I rotated the directional light so the sun could face where I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be above at an angle so that it would look a bit more realistic than just having it straight vertical up and down. Then after that, I just kept tinkering with the setting to see what would look better. By the time I was finished, the water would have a more realistic and glossy look to it. So yeah, this is the finished project. This turned out infinitely better than the first time I tried it. I'd say part of this massive jump is due to Godot's software. And the other part is due to my own individual improvement in 3D design, of course. So now that I've made a new and improved 3D ocean in Godot, make sure you all like to subscribe and I'm out of here.